University. I am your host, the Shadow Rashid, and today I would like to discuss about about computer programming. As you see, I'm going to do number analyzer. Let's start. Now you see here, play with the number. Our goal for this challenge is to write number analyzer program that displays the number as assigned to the to the number. It's a variable here. You see, and draws a rectangular outline to to show whether the number is positive or negative zero. Let's start. First, we will like. Just change these numbers like minus zero. That it says get getting closer. You can do it. Then make all the outlines. Right now there are only a, a, a outline for it. It's it's positive. To make our program smart, we will need to able to outline any of the results. Add a rectangle to to outline its negative. And add another rectangle to outline its zero. So we would just copy it, paste it, paste it three times. Now you really see that you don't really see it. It is cause that it is cause there are they are both on the same. They are both on the same place on the thing. Okay, now make it smart. Now use if statements and the comparison operators. You just learn to control when each outline is drawn. You would use three of them since we are. We would use three of the. We would use three of the if statements. Let's start. Okay. If if a condition. So what should the condition be? Probably it is positive. Let's add it. Let's just delete that. It's positive. Let me just positive. If unclose string, make sure you end your string with a quote. Probably it's outside. No, inside. String, and then yes. I thought you were gonna type this this one, but you typed period. Where is that? Let's click the link. It says here. Okay, now I know why it says that. Hmm. Here. Okay. Now inside these brackets, <laughs> inside those brackets, in those brackets, you should always add the code for the if statement. Okay. The code is rectangle five. Let's add the variable, the number. Next. Oh, looks like you have a missing that. We have a missing bracket. Where? Here. Oh, it says tech, not rect. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's. The number. The next one is two hundred. Then forty. Then 
You shouldn't need to have more than three rectangle statements in your code. You don't need to add any rectangles for this step. Just use the ones you already have. Too many rectangles. Ooh, just use the ones we already have. Hmm, we don't need those ones. Hmm. Let's go here. And if if the number, hmm, if possible, positive. Mm, it says positive is not defined. Let's see. Oh, here. Probably it is the number. Let's go there. Let's go here. Let's just copy it. Oh, I forgot the. I made many mistakes. The number. The number. Let's copy it and paste it. Hmm. There's an error. Something doesn't look right with the condition that you are using to control the outline around. It's negative is drawn. It isn't making any comparison like those and or equals. It won't be able to tell if the number is negative if it doesn't if it doesn't make if it doesn't make any comparisons. Let's just see. Why is it not wrong? Semicolon? No. Not really. What is wrong? Looks like you have an unnecessary semicolon. Let's go here and let's delete it. It still says something's wrong. Hmm. Probably we should change one thing. Oop! We need to fix a previous step. Let's see, fifty, sixty-seven. Then here, you can also move it here. Ooh! I just saw that thing come up. Good job! Right for more. We're on step three now. Now let's see here. Let's go here and fix whatever's wrong. He is not supposed to be saying that. Let's just go back here. Good. Here, something doesn't look right with the condition that you are making to control the outline around its negative is drawn. Mmm. So I guess here should be. It's negative. It's negative. Ooh. Oh, unclose string. Let's with quotation marks. <laughs> oh, there it is. You shouldn't need to use. You, you, sh you shouldn't need to use strings or text in any of your conditions. Let's just go here. If oh, we oh here. Yes, there. Let's move this thing. Let's go here to the if statement, and let's add those brackets. And we should probably. James here, 
probably it is for the it's positive one since we already used the, it's negative and we can't use it again. It positive. Oh, that's wrong. Let's fix everything up. It's positive. It's positive. And then we might need those brackets. And inside, we would add the code. The code is this. Ooh, we might need a previous step. It positive. Okay, that was pretty bad. Okay, let's go here. To rect, and there it is. By the way, we need to fix the if zero one. Let's. Go in here. Oh, that's the problem. Let's fix this. Okay, now we're on the next step. Now for here, if. It's zero, and we need those brackets. Copy this, and then delete it. We might not. Okay, now it should work. We shouldn't need to use strings or text in in any of your in in of your conditions. Oh, you shouldn't use strings or text. I wonder what it means then. <laughs> Let's change this to a five. And these ones to a special thing. Oh, it does not work. Let's add that thing again. Ooh, let's go here and move it to its negative. And as you see it here, the box it changes from its positive to its negative. Then you should. After that, let's see if anything is wrong. Good, nothing's wrong. You shouldn't use any strings or text. Mhm. Let's just delete those. Let's delete them all. We're on the last one. Come close, string. Make sure you end your string with a quote. Hmm. Maybe it means this and this. Is it that? Oh, where are we missing the semicolon? There. Let's add it. Should it be green? Probably. I know what it means. This thing should be true. Oh, that's not it. True. We could just copy them all. This one is true. This one is true. Looks like you, we have an unnecessary semicolon. 
Let's delete this one. Good, it's deleted in that one. You shouldn't use the boolean true or false in any of your conditions again. Let's just pick something else. Probably it is a variable we need. Hmm, is it the number? There's a lot of copying and pasting in here. Oh, something does not look right. Hmm, let's delete it back. There should be an error. I thought you were going to type that from to match line 14. Where's line 14? Hmm, here's line 14. Uh, okay, now I know. Let's just keep on thinking. Let's try. Let's try something else like if okay now i know why if if it's positive or over here let's read now we use the if statements and the comparisons operators you just learned to control when each outline is drawn Try assigning the numbers different numbers to make your to make sure your program works. Make sure that the outline around its positive is only drawn when the number is positive. The outline around its negative is only drawn when the number is negative. The outline around its zero is only drawn when the number is zero. See if your program works correctly when you assign each of these numbers to the number to the number to two to the number. Hmm. Oh, where do we have a semicolon there? Semicolon? We have a semicolon? I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and delete it. Oop, it rose back up. Let's just change it into... It's negative or it's positive. Let's do it into... Okay. I've got a plan. Let's try over here. You see over here it says that. Let's command C and paste it here. Ooh, we got a thing. To make sure you get the most out of these challenges, we did a build, paste, and code from outside. Studies show that typing code helps our brain saddle, solidify the concepts more. Let's write it then. 1, 17, 0.2. And over here, minus 1, minus 12. And minus 0 0.35. Whoa. And then here are the same thing. I mean, it's just 0. You can't end the line with that. Yep, we, sur we surely can't. What should it be? Let's leave it at the same. Then semicolon. Oh, there's an error. Looks like you are using the comma operator in one of your conditions. That's not a good idea since the since only the condition after the last comma is being used to determine where whether the entire expression is true. The conditions before the comma are ignored. That's not really good, right? You would not you would not let someone to do that. 
That's just a care. Ooh, we might need a fix a previous. Ooh, that's wrong. Let's change it to this. Now here, something. Who oh, no. Probably in its negative. Let's go here. No. Where is that rectangle? Let's move it up a little. Good. Looks like you're using the comma operator. I mean, you already wrote that. Let's just fix it. You're not. We might have been not really focused on this. Well, we gotta keep trying. Hmm. Let's keep on looking. Here. Hmm. Here. Let's look. Around here. I mean, I know it is around here. Is there something wrong, by the way? Let's check. We all know that it is always the pattern is always supposed to be forty here, forty here, forty here, and two hundred here, two hundred here, two hundred here, and five here, five here, and five here. But the middle, but the middle answer is a mystery. The middle one. I thought you were gonna type that, but you typed that. Mm. The middle ones over here are a mystery, and these ones are a mystery. The ones in here, in those curly, in those, in those curly, I mean not curly brackets, the brackets, regular brackets. The curly brackets are the ones that are curly, and these ones are the curl. The curl brackets, or something else, or let's just see. Hmm, there's an error. Hmm, I thought you were gonna type that, but you typed rect. That's not really necessary. Okay, now here, here. And does it work? Oop! This time there's only five ones. Looks like we're missing a semicolon. End is not defined. Oh, let's delete it then. Hmm. Right. And there it is. We should fix these ones. Thought you were gonna type that, but you typed correct. Well, we do have it here. Let's just delete it. Oh, now there's nine. Let's put it that back. I thought you were gonna type end, but but you typed the curly bracket. Let's look. Not that one. Not really. Not really. Ooh, where's that unnecessary semicolon? Oh, I found it. Let's see here. Not there. Not there. Not there. Let's exit out again. By the way, the positive is that a positive one? Okay. I think I have an something. Let's just fix that thing out. I guess we just need to. You see over here where the it's positive and it's negative things are, are like they are boxed. We need to figure out why the it's zero is not boxed. Let's just why the it's zero is not boxed. Let's check why. 
It must be something similar in that the it's zero one does not have. Right now they're all straight up. Okay, we need a curly bracket. That might not really be the answer, but let's just let's x that thing out and fit. There it is. Wow, is that the problem? Oh, now it isn't. It isn't the problem. I thought you were gonna type this one to match from line four. Hmm, what does it mean? If Hmm We probably need to look here for something. I think I got something why it's not correct. Hmm. Enter. Whoa, it's really getting down. Oh, that was new. Okay, now everything's correct. Ooh, we accidentally deleted the space. I thought you were going to type this from to match to match this from line fourteen, which is here. Line 14 might be the thing. Here was that passer, sir, error. Hmm. Hmm, not that. Ooh, where? Oh. Semicolon. Here, semicolon. And here, semicolon. Hmm. I thought you were going to type N. And... Well, we already had doubts about that one. And, let's see. Where? Here. And, let's copy it to here. Oh, we don't need that semicolon. Oh, End is not defined. And I am. Hmm, maybe it's that. Now we have 15. Let's keep on looking. And is not defined. Let's just X that thing out. Let's X all of it out. I thought you were going to type to that. Oh, now we have nine. That's pretty easy. Let's look for the next one. It'll work. Let's see. thought you were going to type that, but from line 14, not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Oh, there's no more. Let's see where. Thought you were going to type that, but I I know why. The answer of it might not really work, but now he's just oh I did not know we could move him. Let's move him up or down here, down here, so that we can see him clearly and not block those. I thought you were going to type rec, but you, t I mean, I thought you were going to type this. Let's command C it on the rec. Oh. 
uh oh, now we have a thing. That's the unmatched thing. I guess my answer did not quite work. We still got to look at the conditions. We look here. Try assigning the number different the the number. Try assigning the number different numbers to make sure. Fifty six, and over here, write the number. Well, there will be a error, so we already knew that. Let's just go here. A semicolon there. We need two semicolons. I know why we need them. Over here, we will need the bracket. Let's copy it and paste it. Paste. Okay, they're all nice. Now we only have four. Pretty nice. I thought you were gonna type that from line four, fourteen. Okay, let's focus on the conditions now. Here, I mean here. Huh? We don't really need the hints. Try assigning the the number different numbers to make sure your program works. Oh, that does nothing. Your program works. Make sure that the outline around its positive is only drawn when the number is positive. The outline around its negative. The outline around its negative is only drawn when the number is negative. The outline around its zero is only drawn when the number is zero. Now use if statements in the comparison operators. Okay, now I know what it means. Oh, that's not it. Here, five. Okay, wait. Now I know why this these two brackets are for. I really forgot about it. These two brackets are for to tell you why you need the if statements, and and over here it tells you what code you need it, what why you, what code you need it to do it. Now over here, five. Oh no, hmm, that's bad. Three. Then that. Fifty. Let's see if it works. Okay, over here. Let's take care actually. Now here, we need to add the code for something. We need to add the code for something here. Let's delete that. Okay, now here we might need to do five that fifty six wouldn't work. Let's add four sixty seven. No three. Not is that wrong? Right or wrong?、Mm. Oh nope, that's wrong. This is wrong too. Okay, is it correct? Oh no, it's zero, zero. Oh zero. Zero 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 will not work. Let's continue.
We've been adding a lot of code today. Let's try here. Placer error. By the way, what are these for? <laughs> I'm pretty wondering. Those are the minus ones. Okay, let's see here. When it says pacer, oh, pacer error? Just said it. Okay, I thought you were gonna type I an identifier. Hmm, a identifier. Here, we need this. Where? Okay, here. Mm -hmm, now I know. Let's do zero then forty three five. There is no unnecessary semicolon. There? That's not a unnecessary semicolon. Let's get that thing back. And since it says unnecessary semicolon, let's just delete them all. Of course, you can't copy your own delete. Okay. Thought you were going to type that from line. I mean, thought you were going to type those brackets to match from line 6, but you, but you typed a curly thing, a curly bracket. Huh. Let's see. It is over there. To match from line 16. Wow. It keeps on saying like lines from like, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess that's the problem. Let's go here. Yeah, here. And that Hmm, do we need that? Yeah, we do. And here, oh, we do not need that, of course. Let's just delete that, delete that, and delete that. And then here. Let's copy it. Should have copied it for the other. I thought you going to type end. Well... Instead of that, let's click enter. I just kind of had a problem here. Let's see why it is not working. Maybe here. Let's just X that thing out. Report a problem. We do not need any problems. Let's move him back to the regular spot. Or we need might need to move it somewhere else. Let's just keep it like this. Here it is. He is busy, he is busy saying hmm, because, you know, when he's saying hmm, he's checking if there's an error. Let's see here. The number. Analyze it. Let's look why he's saying that. I thought you were going to type end. Hmm. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and get the other. Oh, this is the only error. That's nice. And let's do it. I thought you were going to type that, but... Oh! There it is. And. And over here, and. And. Should have copied them, but it's okay. I thought you were going to type an assignment or a function called by the type in its person I said. Hmm, there's 12. End is not defined. Let's just copy that.
Oh, where's the other one here? I thought you were gonna type that, but you turned it into fire. Nah, where's all the where's the other words? Good. I thought you were gonna type that, but to match line eighteen, which must be an empty line. Yes. I thought you were gonna type that, but you typed correct. Looks like we have an extra that. We do have an extra one of that. Whoops, let's just. Let's kind of expand this thing. They wouldn't. That's like weird. Oh, he keeps on telling me this. What should we do? Let's look back over here, which we've been looking for almost one hour. Try assigning the the numbers, different numbers. We've seen that. See if your programs were correct when you assigned each of these numbers to the number to the variable name the number. Positive numbers that and negative numbers are those and zero is just that. Okay. Zero the negative numbers. Hmm. What does it mean? Here, okay, I, I think I know what it means. Let's just delete this one. Yeah, let's delete it. Good. We deleted it. Hmm. Thought we were gonna type in. Oh, we have an extra comma. Now there's an error. Oh. Now all the words go down. Looks like it, it looks like you're trying to use rect in case you forgot. In case you forgot, you can use it like this. How many like expands or whatever it's called? How many does it has? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is three. You really need to put that thing back. Oh, there it is. Well, I copied it to make sure. If it was an error and it was a lot of words, then I just decided to copy it. Let's scroll back up. Here, now use if statements. We did use those if statements, which is the here. We did use if statements, and then it says, "I thought you were gonna type n, but you typed that." Ha! <laughs> That's weird. Probably, if you did something like this, then it might work. Let's keep on trying. Probably we could use like a variable to fill it, like not the number, but it should be something else, like rect. I mean, it's not a variable. Let's try something else. Let's do. Let's make another variable. Just enter. And here, var. Oh, there's no equals. 
what should the variable's name be? Oh, we're missing a semicolon. This is so easy. There is not supposed to be a semicolon there. Well, redefinition of fill. Everything knows what fill is except babies or something. Oh, we just need to scroll up. Var, let's say out. Oh no, let's say var. Well, for variables, you can name it anything you want, and I want to name it out of this world. Out of this world variable. Out of this world variable. Can't really see it. Equal equals fifty six. Let's try fifty six. Let's change it. Actually, Paris or error. So glad. Oh, Paris or error. Where is it? There it is. And there it goes. I'm gonna change it to seventeen, not minus that. Let's put it to the number. Wait, var and ible. Oh, wait, var and ible. Blue. Does it even know blue? Well, that's weird. Let's just delete that. Oh, that's it. There's blue. Actually, it gave me an idea. Let's name the variable able. <laughs> kind of. We're missing a semicolon. I know why. Let's do fifty-six then. Okay. Let's grow up. Does not really, really work. Okay. Let's kind of move it up. I did not really. I did not realize it there. We're still on step three. Let's start over because I really think. Let's just go here. Play with the number. Here is the hints whenever you need it. I mean, not the hints, the thing. I remember really its name, but right now we just need to make the numbers. We need to make the number smaller. Ready to go. The next step. Now for here, we need to make it on. Let's move this thing down, all the way down, like that. Not really like that, actually. Let's go here, push it down like that, so it can be boxing it. Oh, and over here it says, "Nice work. Great things are ahead." This is not really a great thing. Let's just ignore it. Now use if statements. Can't really copy these because they're hints. If you copy them, look what's gonna happen. It says that we've read it earlier. Now remember. Let's see here. If or something. Or something else. Let's just do if, and then the condition, which is that. And go up. Is there supposed to be a semicolon? 
I guess so. Okay. Oh, there's an error. I thought you were going to type identifier, but you typed this. The the bracket. Hmm. Let's. That is an error, but I do not know why it keeps on saying this. Let's pull it up a little. That's not really. Let's pull it down. I thought you were gonna type this, but you typed wrecked. Show me where. Looks like we have an unnecessary semicolon. That's not a unnecessary semicolon. Unmatch that. Oh, here. Hmm. There was actually supposed to be much more than this. If ah, uh, this is really messy. Let's start over. We know that we should delete that. Those two step. Then here. We've been copying this a lot. There it is, and the next one. Making progress. And here we are again. This time, let's do something else. Let's do something else like. What if we did? We've done. We could do something else like. Za. Right now we've been doing this thing a lot. Let's do something like okay. Now let's the takes. That's not really what we're focusing about. The fill. Should we change it? Like, no, change it to black or white. No, pinkish. Should it be pink? Let's change it to blue. It's my favorite color. Or pink. It's my least. It's my really favorite color. Let's just turn it to black. Is this really black? It is、It's、supposed to be say zero. Whoa! Did not even see anything change. That would be the color green, but now it isn't. This would be the color blue, but now it isn't. It's all black, completely black. Now, what should we like do? To do this thing, you know how hard it is. It's really hard. It. Let's try doing something else. Let's do like. On the variables. Area we could add a new variable. It might work. Let's add something. Something we do need. We should add a variable. Let's add the variable name. What should the name be? What should the name be? 
Hmm. Should the name be like outside or something? What about Let's do something else. I'm not really sure if we did that. Oh, we can't end a line like that. Guess we just need to do that. Let's go here. Somewhere like here. We can't end a line like that. I guess that is really true. Okay, now I really know what's going on. Let's go here. We go to here, the if statements. You might not really think this will work, but I think... Oh. The B is not supposed to be there. Number e equals three times. In fact, actually that's wrong. It should be this. And then zero. We should make it no fill. No fill. Then we did that. Oh, we forgot the semicolon. We still can't end the line. Let's just delete it. And here. Let's make it that. Next, what do we do? Next, we just add the, okay, now there it is. We added the first thing. Really proud. If we do the same thing, the, now he's not announcing any more errors. Number, oop, he's saying, um, he's saying, hmm, like he's thinking. Let's do it. Let's two zero. Mm. Okay, let me see if it's zero. Hmm, what is it? Oh, it's zero, of course. Then semicolon at the end. No, uh, is there a semicolon? Not really, but. That and again a no fill. <laughs> Let's copy it probably. And there it goes. Okay. Now we gotta scroll down. If oh if he's about to the na number equals oh three equals equals zero because we noticed a pattern we've noticed a pattern then after the pattern, we do no fill again. Oh, we for also forgot something. This thing. And then. And then enter no fill, no 
fill. And then, I can't wait for my favorite part. And there it is. We finished the challenge. Congratulations, everyone. You Right now, you've just completed challenge. The challenge called Number Analyzer. My name is Ashadi Rashid, and subscribe to our channel for more for more videos.